Southern charm with an English twist. Or a lemon twist with your Vegas martini. Whatever your flavor, Mansion Global is betting you'll roll the dice on one or both of these stunning mansions. For some buyers, it's not just a home they're after. They're looking for bragging rights. Thousand restaurants representing 70 countries and American regions, home to the largest medical center in the world, and the only city in the U.S. that doesn't have land use zoning laws. Houston, Texas is the perfect spot to build your dream home, and we've got just that dream. English country manor with a big old slice of southern hospitality. Welcome to 120 Carnivon Drive. Mark Menendez has over two decades experience in the Houston market and has an insider's view into the city. The South is on fire, not really, but people are moving here like crazy. Yes. Would you say that Houston is overlooked for maybe Austin or Dallas? We've seen a lot of attention in Austin and Dallas right now, and those markets are so much smaller geographically, mm -hmm. so they tend to have a lot more pressure and that raises prices. The most important thing is there are a few different industries here that uh, support the community. So you have energy, which is the oil and gas, which is the big one, but you also have the space industry with NASA, and then you have logistics and transportation because we're so close to the Port Arthur. So all those industries bring so many people to the city, and that's just creating incredible growth. You mentioned something close to the water. Less than an hour away from the Gulf of Mexico, there's actually a surf community, a whole beach community uh, that people don't really talk about when, and you don't hear it when you're mm -hmm. talking about Houston. So it's almost one of those undiscovered gems uh, that people come to and say, wow, we have that opportunity as well. In terms of style of the home, mm -hmm. what styles are we gonna see? You'll see elements from castles, You'll see elements from uh, chateaus and so many different elements from Europe that were all incorporated into the one home. And I think that's something that really stands out to me and something you don't find particularly in Houston. I want to talk about the pool because it is a show stopper. Yeah. When you bring somebody in here, do they just like drool and it just fills the pool? <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the things that hit me first when right. I walked into the home is typically you'll see a turquoise colored pool. Here it's sapphire and a color to the home that you don't usually see and it just really blends the entire property together. The nice thing about this home, the lawn care, the maintenance crew inside and out could potentially transition over for the new owner. That's correct, so they're very specific to this property and they are true craftsmen. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this one. Awesome. Six bedrooms, 16 baths, and about 26,000 square feet. All of it on four acres of grounds to call your own. And 29.5 million will make your English Manor dreams come true. The grand foyer leads you to either a parlor and pool house or the multiple living spaces. The second floor is all about the bedrooms and the nanny suite and some bonus rooms. When you come into the foyer, you're hit with a few things. It's very unique. It's circle in nature. You have the marble on the floor, that rotunda vibe when you get in here. You look up and see the gold leaf aspect on the ceiling. Attention to detail is the name of the game in this home. All of the moldings, all of the casings around the openings. The wallpaper, it's not wallpaper. It's fabric, silk, so gorgeous when you get up to it. And looking behind me, you have the formal dining room, that rich red color on the walls in there. And I'm not even gonna tell you what I see down here. Well, I will tell you. It's the backyard, and when you see the gardens, you're gonna flip. If Queen Elizabeth were to have a home in Texas, this is what her kitchen would look like. The sage green, the beautiful floral wallpaper. It's so whimsical. You can cook for the masses in here. All of those banquets you're hosting, 
no sweat in this kitchen. And right through this adorable archway, which we see all of that, these really beautiful spaces, this huge breakfast nook, not even a breakfast nook, it's a breakfast room. Imagine having breakfast here, open up the two sets of French doors, take in the grounds, that sweet Texas air, can't beat it. The floor change from that tile, the bright white tile, to the rich walnut is telling you this wing of the home, the west wing, like the White House, means business. Bathroom here, gym on my right, and now we're entering hers and his study. Behind these two doors, you become the king of the south immediately. The walnut detail taken up onto the walls, even the ceiling detail as well. The desk perfectly situated in this gorgeous room looking out to the garden, wood-burning fireplace. But behind me, this gorgeous library all lit from above all of those shelves. It's so inviting. The most interesting man in the world becomes that by just stepping through these doors. We've seen all of the dreamy entertainment spaces, but how about when you're going to go to sleep at night? The bedrooms up one of three staircases. But that's not all. There's an unexpected room that's sure to make your kids smile. That's right after the break. 